Well, it was hard at the beginning, um, pretty much to shut us down. Uh, but now it's, um, I think I, I kind of like that diamond. After months of road work, businesses on 8th Street and Moorhead are relieved. Construction is complete. Good evening and thanks for watching. We all know driving through construction can be a pain, so if it's bad for you, can you imagine what local businesses went through? Valley News Team Giovanna Simic cuts through the guesswork and shows us how the constant cone zones impacted businesses in our area. Businesses on 8th Street in Moorhead are breathing a sigh of relief. We were pretty much probably affected the most, um, but we're, like I said, we survived. Bridge opening up is kind of like really opened up the business over here. We're actually starting to see more of the same clientele, which is nice. Anthony Lamb, who's the general manager at the Frothy Stash, says the construction project made business difficult for the new bar. We did our grand opening, and then we had like a really great first month of business, and then that construction hit, and it just went down, like right downhill. The bar, which opened just four months ago, says it was hard attracting new customers because driving on 8th Street was a nightmare. We do have a lot of people that have wanted to come check this place out, but it's just with the construction, it's just they don't want to go through the hassle of driving over here. And working around the construction was a pain. We were trying to kind of schedule our promotions around it and stuff, and it was just kind of a headache. Businesses like Nick's Auto Sales say it was their customers' loyalty that kept them going. Our um, customers kept us in business, our repeat customers kept bringing their uh, family, their relatives, their friends, so that kept us in, in business. Now, they say more traffic on 8th Street will be a good thing. In Moorhead, Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. The Frothy Stash says they're going to celebrate construction being over by having a second grand opening here soon.